Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to import a SOLIDWORKS model into Star CCM. So we're just going to do a really basic model here in SOLIDWORKS. Um, we're just going to create a cylinder. Um, we're going to make that cylinder be, um, let's just make it uh, one, oops, I wanted to make that 10 centimeters, 0.1 meters. So, 10 centimeters in size. And then we'll do a quick extrusion. Um, we'll make it also 10 centimeters. Oops, there we go. Okay, there we go. We got a very simple model. We're just gonna save this as a cylinder. And we're just going to save this actually just on the desktop. And then we're going to come out of here and we're going to open up a new star, star CCM um, file. Now, I had a question uh, from someone that talked about importing and whether or not we should uh, use the import surface mesh. Kind of doesn't seem like the right thing when you have a solid model, um, and uh, you and you're trying to put it into your your Star CCM model. But that is actually the correct option, or at least that's one option that I'm going to show you how to do today, is import surface mesh. So great, so we have our our model coming up. We're just gonna go up to File and say Import Surface Mesh. Um, and then we're going to go to our desktop, and there's our cylinder model, just like that. Usually these uh, default parameters are good. Um, if you have a really small model, you might want to change the tolerance, um, but for now, these are just fine. Uh, and so that's importing right here. You can see the file name, and boom, we actually got a part. So the interesting thing... Um, Oh and, oh, and when it imports, it creates a geometry scene for you, which is nice. So the interesting thing is this is blue, this little icon, which means that it is not, it does not have an associated 3D CAD model in this program. If you want to make an edit to this, other than just translating it um, or rotating it or something, if you want to actually change the physical model, then you need to... Um, create a, a 3D CAD model for it. And the way you do that is you just kind of come here and say edit in 3D CAD. Um, and it'll automatically create a model for it. But you can't edit the dimensions like you could in SolidWorks. It just says import CAD. So really all of your design work should be done in SolidWorks unless you're doing a minimal, small uh, amount of work here. So let's just, for the sake of this um, tutorial, I'm just going to create a sketch on the face up here and I'm just going to do a little, I'm just going to cut off the side of this, um, a small part of this uh, cylinder, okay? Just so that I can show you how it changes and, okay, so we're going to do an extrude cut and it's going to be through all, we'll hit okay. All right, so now we have a, a cut off cylinder. So boom, now we have a CAD model and you know that I always like to name it cylinder and then this is not updated so you need to click update and boom there we got our our model now an important thing is and this is for whether you create it in the software or not you need to come come here to surfaces and split by patch so I have a different video on that that you can go watch um, but that's really important you right click here and split by patch so you can assign each of these faces a different name so that you can assign different physics to them. So that's how you import a CAD model from SOLIDWORKS.